Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Path of Exile. Today we're back in the battlefront. I found the waypoint before I ended my session yesterday. So now we can just zoom around in here. We have the ribbon spool already. And I have quests to go to basically everywhere. Um, let me see, which one do I want to do first? Probably the docks. Let's, let's head up this way. I think this is the way to the docks. Um, but I've done a little bit of an update on my build because I didn't realize that both my curses weren't working. Uh, when I was using the curse on hit thing with two curses, I thought it was just only displaying one, but it turns out it was only giving me one curse effect, so I've changed it, so now Frenzy is my left click and has greater multiple projectiles with Poacher's Mark, so I can get that health and re man regen and uh, get the flask filled up a little bit faster and all that jazz. I'm not sure if it's better than projectile weakness, but I'm just trying it out. I might go back to the other one or switch on and off and level both of them up. That might be a fun thing to do. And I got Frenzy on my left click now, so it's a lot easier to uh, play the game. Just left and right click instead of having all buttons. But now I have a spot open for E. So I'm trying to think of what I want to put on that. Before I go into the docks, I kind of want to run around and get my uh, legacy things that I got active right now. Because this is the last area they're active in. And I definitely want to get my my uh, stones worth with these things. Ooh, this might not have been the best spot to teleport up to. Damn, that worked out. Put my ballista down over here and survive this. There we go. Ooh, superior. Oh, only 10%. Lots of stuff in there, but none of it's any good. See, so yeah, that's and I've changed um, my ballista to have greater multiple projectiles instead of lesser ones, so it fires all those crazy things now, which is just awesome. Projectile weakness might be the better curse overall just because I am using the ballista too because it might give that more of a benefit than than the poacher's mark would. Uh, having a lot of piercing and uh, the curse on hit on frenzy with this with the greater multiple projectiles is pretty damn useful. It's like a second multi-shot that buffs me and or a split arrow that buffs, buffs me and uh, it's a pretty nice benefit. I'm trying to chase down a strong box right now and also a tormented spirit but I have no idea where they could be. This area is also pretty dang huge. So if I don't find it pretty soon, I'll probably just say, well, too bad, so sad. Ooh, Spirit Hunter Hood? We'll take that just to see what it is. Could be something cool. And uh, yeah, if we don't find it pretty soon, maybe it's not meant to be. I could always come back and track it down another time as long as I don't let this place expire too. But we have other League Stones and other things to go to today, so I think... Unless it's right down here, somewhere just over here. I'm just going to run by some guys, see if I can track it down. Because the strong box is the thing I really don't want to miss out on. And those things are usually not too terrible to find. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's ID this thing and see what we got. 5% quality? Meh, we could probably do better. Let's, uh, let's re-roll that. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Identified items? Nope, that's no good or no fun. Plus five chest level, meh. Lightning storm and what? Mirrored items. I kind of like the mirrored items, but I don't think they do anything too amazing. Ooh, rogue exile. So I'm talking about and two additional rare items. That's much better. All right, let's open that up. Do that and prepare ourselves to deal with this new sky. Portal scroll. What else dropped? Those are some loud noises. There's the vault orb and. Ooh, a six socket, six link, no, almost six linked armor. I might try and do something with that, that seems pretty dang good. And yeah, ooh, 10%. Meh, nah. Take the cloth belt. I'm gonna leave the claw. And I don't think I have any use for the other stuff aside from like the rings. Yep, that's gonna be all. Okay, I'm satisfied with that, so let's kill some things as we adventure back to. Uh, the other place I'm trying to get to, which is the docks. Oh man, there's just guys everywhere here. It's pretty awesome. I don't know if I should get the frenzy passives that allow me to have more frenzy charges and stuff like that. I guess it depends mostly if I'm going to keep using this build or not, which we'll have to see because there's some pretty cool stuff in this game from what I've seen, and a lot of it I might end up uh, using later on. And yeah, so we'll have to see how it goes. I really have no idea, honestly. There's uh, a couple bows that I've been given by my friend who just keeps finding bows. Um, and uh, some of them have, like, cool stat effects. Some of them just have, like, really high stats. 
So depending on what kind of build, like if I end up doing just like a really high damage version of this build, I'll probably just want a really high physical damage bow and just roll with that. Something with really good modifiers like attack speed and six sockets and all that jazz. Maybe a, a effect that gives me something cool like this one adds an additional arrow. But I don't know what the, the highest damage bow would be either. I'd have to look Ooh, that up to learn creature. about it. But hopefully when we get into the merciless difficulty we can start finding some really sweet stuff. What's this? Blink arrow? Nice. We got blink arrow level up. Curse that guy down. Boop. And yeah, just keep rolling. I did um, go into my passive tree here for just a second. I took this one, evasion and life, right off my starting thing. Just because like 12 max life and 18 evasion rating seemed pretty good and is right beside my starting area. So I don't see it. I don't know if it's a bad idea to take that, but I could always refund it and put it somewhere else. But in the meantime, defenses are defenses, and I could always use some. We have a lot of champion packs here. Right on, I went a rogue eggs. Oh no, that's just a boss guy. It should be our terror. Get dropped. Alright, we got the supply container with that the thaumatic self fight, which we can't carry. So let's, uh. Oh man, everything I got is like pretty decent. We'll drop that. There we go. And I don't know if we'll need one more item. We just have to go find uh, Mr. Fairgraves now, I believe. And let's see, we're supposed to search the docks. Are we still missing one item? Or are we just looking for Fairgraves now? I think we are just looking for Fairgraves. He should just be up here. What else we got? Ooh, this guy looks cool. Ooh, summon Stone Golem? Nice. Definitely that take that. That would only slow me well, down. If I had some inventory room, I would take it. Let's see. Can I drop anything? Oh hell yeah, I can drop those. Nice. There we got a golem spell. I don't know if I should use a golem. Like, I don't know if I should even bother investing in summoning anything. It might be useful to have, you know, like one kind of tanky summon if you can have such a thing in this game to kind of just distract monsters. Kind of like my, uh... Oh man, still gotta drop stuff. What else could I drop here? I meant to turn in this quest before I came here. Oh, we can use these. There we go. I should have used those before I came into the dock, so well. Remember that for next time. There we go, here's Fair Graves. We skip through. And oh we need to get the plum. That's what we need. Dang it, that's not everything. Okay. Well we got the waypoint. The next place we need to go to I think is the Ebony Barracks, right? I think we can't no, we have to go to Oh, the Solaris Temple, that's right. Okay, so we'll go off this place, and we already know where that is. It's just straight up here. So let's just zoom on over there, and then we'll take on the Solaris Temple, where we'll find Lady Diala again, and just keep zooming through all the quests. That last right here. Oh, and that's a that's a chromatic orb. So we're going back to town for just a second here. Sorry, guys. Let's actually turn the quest into uh, is it Hargan. I think his name is. I never remember if it's like Hagrin or Hargan. I think it's Hargan. But we'll sell our stuff to him and turn the quest in. I can't. I think he gave us skill points last time. Hopefully he does that again because that would be really cool. And I don't know like what the max uh, skill points is. I think it's like 121 or something like that. But again, a lot of those like the last 20 levels I've heard are really hard to get. It is Hargan. All right. Blah blah blah. Nice. One passive and two respect points. Oh, I don't want to purchase items. That was a mistake. Let's ID these. What do we got here? 25% increased rarity. Hmm. That might be worth hanging on to just for farming or something. But nah, we're going to toss it. Let's hang on to this, though, because that might be something cool. Uh, those are not bad gloves, but I like mine right now. Just because they give me more offense boost. Well, I know I know I should be switching to a defense boost, but we'll transition as we find better stuff. That's not a bad belt, but I like mine. That's uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I feel like I should hang on to that one. I'll throw it in the old stash just in case. Don't think there's anything ever cool on these magic rings, but just in case, check them out. That one's not bad. That's actually a lot of resistances, but. We're not we're not rolling with with that right now. We got some other cool stuff. All right, so that's all the things I wanted to sell. Stay out of the Anything shadows. Else point. I want to do? Oh, I definitely want to right. Still want to right click on that. That was the wrong thing. Let's deposit the currency stuff. 
put oh no I want to hang on to my projectile weakness might end up using it might like switching around oops deposit that and then we are going to store this other mask here you can see uh, one of the bows I'm looking forward to using this is the one with chaos damage pretty high physical damage on it so I'm definitely going to try that one out there's another one I think no not yet I haven't grabbed the other ones from from my friend yet uh, oh yeah that's one we're hanging on to and we'll put stone golem in there sorry the inventory is back to being a mess actually we were supposed to sell that flask okay enough inventory shenanigans let's uh let's head back to the battlefront here and grab this what was it great mallet it's a chromatic orb and just get a move on there we go wipe those guys out we're rolling scroll wisdom nah screw it Oh, we're chasing. Alright, we took him down. <laughs> I wasn't going to kill him, but he came after me. That just isn't acceptable. So, I think the last time I did this Hilaris Temple, I like had my microphone muted for part of the part of the area, or like the I've first time I stepped in here. What I know and love. So I do apologize, but this time I believe we're good to go. You know what? I should probably double check my microphone. Or like, triple check. Oh yeah, we're good to go. So you guys are hearing me. What's that? Increased elemental damage? Nah. I mean, that's we're definitely gonna figure out what kind of bow we want to play with by the end of uh, or like by the end of Merciless, I suppose. That's when I'll really know what exactly I want to build. Those are not bad greaves. Harold of Ash ready for level up? Nice. I want to get uh, another ring with a socket and some uh, what you calls it's. I feel like I want to upgrade this to a, a rare, so we're gonna do that. Let's see. What do we got? I think it's an orb of alchemy that does that. Yep. Okay, so I have to shift click it. Yep. Yep. Alright, we're figuring this game out one step at a time. Probably should have sold that mallet first. Plus four chest level, rogue exile, two additional sockets. That sounds fantastic. Oh, and I got frozen. I forgot about that. Forgot about that. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I lived through that. Just spamming all my things as fast as I could. Holy smokes. Cast one damage taken support. Nice. Steelhead. Four socket. Sanctified mana. Scroll wisdom. Another steel six socket steelhead. Ooh, a six socket death bow. Nice. I might have to upgrade that, see if I can get something cool. Maybe do would you, would you use like an orb of chance on that? Try and turn it into a unique or something? Cause that would be cool, a unique six socket bow definitely gonna hang on to that. You guys let me know if I should do something with that or if it's just like vendor trash. I don't know, I get excited when I find this stuff now. I'm just like, ooh, because I haven't seen it before. Armor scrap. Alright, so I'm just gonna try and zoom through the rest of this area until I find more cool stuff. What do we have in here? Rampage bonuses. Monsters have onslaught. Slaying enemies grants rampage. Oh, if Randa's chest is in here. Okay, I don't want to zoom, zoom through too fast. I really should have checked my Stones. Oh, well, there's the Prandus chest, anyways. Alright, so let's get my frenzy charges up. Oh, we got a special. A couple of special Prandus guys in here, gotta be careful. Put my bat. Uh, bull Is it Ballista? Yeah. Over there. Over of chance. Whole bunch of Prandus coins. Sacred Hybrid. That would only slow me down. I can't take that. Four socket sword. Alright, that's all we're going to roll with. That's pretty good though. It's not a bad chest at all. And the exit should be just up here, I would imagine. Yep, I don't know why I knew that. I just had a feeling. Level 2, and this should be a short little adventure. Is there a trial in this area? I don't think so. No, we don't have the quest for it, so I don't think there is. These are all the ribbons, Lady Dalla's ribbons. I keep pressing E to do frenzy. I kind of get used to that left mouse click. Because so I think that's what's throwing off some of my fights here. There we go. Damn, you just got dropped. We got some gems to level up. Oh yeah, there's a boss up here, isn't there? Both my greater multiple projectiles. I think they're my, both my new ones. Because I had to go buy two new ones from the guy in the library. For uh, one orb of alchemy each. I actually bought, like, I think, how many, like, four just because I was like I'm probably gonna need more of these at some point for some reason so let's go ahead and grab them now be prepared 
because I, I, at first I didn't think I could buy any because I didn't think I had any orbs of alchemy, but it turns out they were just in my stash and it doesn't function like a like a bank, you just pull things from automatically, so herp to derp on my part. Plentiful breach lead stone. Two additional breaches, oh my gosh. So you get three breaches all together? That's awesome. I want to hang on to that one. I feel like I should, uh, like, find a group for that one or something. <laughs> so we can just get tons and tons of breaches and just max out all the all the treasure we get from them and stuff. Because I noticed when I was playing in my other co-op playthrough that uh, as you have more people, you can actually get more out of those breaches, which is great. That's that would only slow me down. chromatic, and that's a rare jewel. Once I identify that right now, just to see what it is. Increased totem damage, crit strike with elemental skills, and max life. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Let's go take care of our loot situation real quick. And then we'll finish up the Solaris Temple. You want something? Sell to you. Chromatic, jeweler orbs. Not gonna sell that just yet. I gotta, I, I don't know why this heavy belt didn't mean to pick that up. Not bad. Do I want the Sanctify? Yeah, I do. I want to put that in my in my bank for whatever reason. I figure I'll use them for something at some point. I don't even think there's a recipe for them to do anything, but I just feel like I should keep them. I don't know why. Like you can see, I have so many of them already, and I probably shouldn't keep them, but I I just am. Oh, I do not even have room to store this bow. Do I have anything else I can just ditch? Hmm. You know, I don't think I can, so I'm just going to throw it right there for now. Put our other jewel in there, and then just deposit all the currencies. I need to get some of those special tab things that you can buy, like the currency tabs and bonus tabs. I feel like there's just so much to pick up in this game. I just feel overwhelmed. But I guess better inventory management and having maybe like a few extra characters to use as little mules for... Are there like equipment slots and additional inventory and stuff? Might be a handy dandy thing to do. Getting rid of duplicate skill gems might also be a thing. Like having like eight lacerates maybe isn't the smartest thing to have, right? Because you can't. I mean, you could you could use eight lacerates, but is it really that such a big of a deal to to keep them when you can just sell them and always pick up another one at some point for like? one of something minor like greater multiple projectiles maybe not because it's like Horp of Alchemy right? Alright. Oh, she has a reward. Goodbye. I didn't even take it. There's the talc. Yeah, ribbon's full reward. Get a neck piece. Let's take the uh, rarity items one just just because if she, I'm going to pick something I'd like to get a really awesome version of one of these. That's actually not bad. Life on kill, increased fire damage. <laughs> Hang on to that. Hang on to that for sure. And it's just an idea that's just to ID it. I don't think, do I have to go into the Eternal Laboratory? Or is this, does this do anything? I awoke. Oh, I don't want to listen to your story again, Malachi. I just want to know if this thing does anything. Because I think it said, like, go into the Eternal Laboratory to do a thing. Somewhere before. Maybe on one of the maps or something. Maybe I have to be in the higher difficulties though because there's a waypoint right here so that would kind of make sense but now we can go back to the sewers which I didn't get the waypoint front throw for so that really sucks jeez I'm sorry guys uh, it should be not too much of a journey actually you know what I'll just see you guys when I get there Alright guys, I'm back here at the Undying Passage. It was actually quite a journey to get here. I ended up getting tons of loot, fighting tons of bad guys, but it was really, like, nothing interesting happened, but it was just a lot going on. I didn't even make, mean to make that portal. But let's go ahead and use the talc on the passage here and just kind of run through all that goop and get on with the adventure here. Um, yeah, I found a few leak stones that were pretty good. We're actually going to activate some new ones. Got this breach one. I want to save that one. I think I showed that one to you guys already. We got Onslaught, 20% increased to quantity of items, and they'll have Onslaught. A Talisman one, so I'm totally going to use that. And I don't think I have a third... Oh, I do here, Beyond League Stone. Beyond this realm. Those ones are always dangerous, but we're doing it anyways. Because I, I really like that one. It's just a lot of fun. It's very dangerous because the enemies that pop out, they're just like super intense, and they can just start debuffing you, or attacking you, or charging you, or doing whatever the hell they do. But I enjoy it. I think it's a... 
an extra level of fun on top of everything. So let's kill the general, who's almost all the time just right up here. Get the waypoint too, because yeah, that, that waypoint that I missed, it's one that's just like right beside everything. So it's like really, really obvious, and I, I feel really bad that I just didn't just walk over and touch it like I should have. Uh, I'm just gonna sit back here and kind of bombard the general. Oh, no, it's not even the general yet, is it? Is it? Is that the general? I don't know. Something was shooting lightning at me. I thought it was the general. I've gotten so many chromatic orbs recently. Holy smokes, just triple socket of uh, all the colors all the time, pretty much. Gone. It's crazy how many of these things I'm seeing. Another thing that's nice about Poacher's Mark is you put it on something, and then you just get your mana and health back when you hit that guy. And since I hit so many times with so many things, it, it works out pretty nicely for me. Ooh, we've got a teleport here. I wish I could fire that off. Oh, we got a shrine up here. Oh, a stone altar. Is this going to activate the thing that... What's this say? The great wolf has forced me to forget who I was and has taught me to be so much more. A man becomes a king so that he may protect the people of the day. A man becomes a god so that he may protect the people of all the days to come. And so, the endless hunt begins. The fervor of the first ones remains, bound by the druids into fetishes of tooth and bone, skin and claw. I know where these potent talismans have been strewn. I have their scent. And so, the endless hunt begins. I shall pursue the thieves of our ancient heritage. I shall wrest our first ones from the clutching and the corrupted, lest they feed and grow fecund on power not their own. Power I must have must wield in the name of all that is Ezemia to come. And so, the endless hunt begins. Wow, that was something. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess that's... Oh! Oh! So, those talismans that I found before, I probably shouldn't have just gotten rid of them. I think I just got rid of them. They were just like neck pieces to me. Uh, let me look at this league stone really quick here. Oh, 25% should contain a stone circle. Okay, well, since that's kind of important, um, we're, we're not going to use that up just yet, because maybe, maybe I should keep that one to use with these circle things, because maybe that's how you summon, like, really powerful monsters for stuff. I don't know, but I just feel bad just kind of wasting that one, so I feel like I'm just going to hang on to it for a little bit. I'm just gonna, definitely going to get out of that and curse him again. Oh, there we go. And get wrecked. Who do you fight for, Exile? I fight for me. That's who I fight for. Wait, are you going to give me anything for dying? No, nope, just go like back to you, Brubisius, this land might right, just so start healing go back itself. There, and we gotta head to the Imperial Gardens. So I'm just gonna take a quick little zoom around over here, see if there's anything cool going on. I forget what's at the top of this place. What's up here? A little bunch of pains in the butt, that's for sure. You know what, you guys can just deal with, with my ballista. I'll take you down and deal with you guys just fine. Look at that. Just nothing to nothing to fear at all over here. But I just want to see, okay, this is the Lenaris Temple, okay, yeah, this is one of the later areas. Okay, guys, so next time we're going to track down the Imperial Gardens, turn in our quest, and we'll see what else is going on. Thanks for watching, as always, and we'll see you next time. Oh, oh, jeez, I'm dying, what the heck? Oh, great, not saying goodbye yet, we got Great Killer of the Callus over here. <laughs> well, next time, we won't get zapped by lightning, and I'll see ya. So, thanks for watching, bye for now.